Hi, I'm Phil from PJD Visuals. Let's talk about DJI Aeroscope in Ukraine. In March of this year, the Ukrainian Vice President tweeted this. In 21 days of war, Russian troops have already killed 100 Ukrainian children. They are using DJI products in order to navigate their missiles. DJI Global, are you sure you want to be a partner in these murders? Block your products that are helping Russia to kill the Ukrainians. He accused the Chinese drone giant of being party to the murder of his countrymen. But why? Let me explain. DJI is a drone company allegedly funded by the Chinese state. It makes some very good drones, but has some questionable data protection policies and uses a system it calls Aeroscope. Aeroscope's intended use is to identify errant drone operators operating in places they shouldn't be, airports, stadiums full of people, that kind of thing. It works by having the drone as part of its communication system with the transmitter, continually broadcast its encrypted location and its paired transmitter's location. Now, usually this enables law enforcement using specialist equipment to decrypt this information and apprehend the operator. They can, in theory, do this from up to 30 miles away. However, Ukraine is at war with Russia and flying a DJI drone in the war zone can mean a visit for more than just law enforcement. Now, to be clear, there are no confirmed incidents of this happening, but the Ukrainian government is concerned enough to raise it with DJI and request them to block drones purchased in Russia from operating in Ukraine. DJI's response is that for technical reasons, it is not possible to do what Ukraine has requested. They have offered to set up a geofence that would ground all drones that had downloaded the updated geofence data so that would require operators to update their drones, something they are unlikely to do. Here's their response in full. I've been Phil from PJD Visuals. Goodbye.